In my mathematical world, I have one little problem. Bryce works for the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. He encounters a variety of problems in his job that requires mathematics to solve. Help me solve some of the problems he faces at work and determine if he uses a lot of algebra. Bryce has been tracking a red fox population in a forest that has been steadily increasing by five individuals per year. There were initially 20 foxes. How many foxes will there be in eight years? Can this growth pattern be modeled by an arithmetic sequence? Write the explicit formula for the number of foxes in year n. Bryce planted a row of trees along a forest path. Each tree needs three meters of space, and he had two meters of space used by existing markers. What linear function represents the total distance covered d after planting n trees? What are the slope and y-intercept in the context of this problem? Bryce plans to build a rectangular enclosure for deer with an area of 10,000 square meters. One side borders a river, so he only needs to fence three sides. Express the perimeter P of the enclosure in terms of its width, W. Is this function linear, quadratic, exponential, or something else? Bryce says a particular healthy forest can sustain a yearly harvest of no more than 20% of its mature maple trees. The forest currently has 175 mature maple trees. What range of trees, T, can be sustainably harvested each year? Write a linear inequality to represent this situation. Bryce said the deer population in a forest has been increasing exponentially due to the introduction of a new food source. DNR scientists believe this growth will eventually slow down. How does the graph of an exponential function compare to a linear or quadratic function in this context? Wildlife corridors are long, narrow strips of habitat that connect fragmented areas. Bryce's team maintains two parallel corridors with a minimum separation distance of 200 meters. If one corridor is already established, how can you use the concept of parallel lines to determine the equation of the second corridor given its distance y from a fixed reference point x? Bryce explained that the depth of water in a forest stream is related to the rate of water flow by a quadratic function. The function is given by d of r equals negative r squared plus 4r. What does the leading coefficient tell us about the relationship between flow rate and water depth? Can this function ever have a negative value for water depth? Explain why or why not based on the structure of the equation. An invasive plant species has been identified in a small area of the forest. Bryce needs to determine if the spread is rapid, like exponential growth, or relatively slow, such as linear growth, to plan for eradication efforts. Bryce collected data on the area covered by the invasive plant at different points in time. How can he use the characteristics of exponential and linear functions to analyze the data and identify the growth pattern? Bryce tracked the daily migration distance of a herd of deer. Over two days, the deer traveled a total of the square root of 180 kilometers. The first day's travel distance was 3 times the square root of 5 kilometers less than the second day. Write down a system of equations to represent the distances traveled each day. Solve for the unknown distances. The cost of maintaining a closed trail for repairs depends on the duration of the closure in days. Bryce said the historical data suggests a linear relationship modeled by the function c of d equals 50 times d plus 200. What does the y-intercept represent in the context of this problem? 
If the total cost to maintain a closed trail for repairs is $900, how long was the closure? The percentage of ground covered by tree canopy is related to the distance from a forest edge. Bryce said that scientists believe the relationship could be modeled by a quadratic function. The function is given by C of D equals negative D squared plus 8D plus 16. What does the negative leading coefficient tell us about the effect of increasing distance from the edge on tree canopy cover? Can the canopy cover ever exceed 100% based on the structure of the equation? Explain why or why not.